Now, when I say something like haymakers, what's the first thing you think of, Jay? Oh, I think of uh, wrapping you up in an old wrestle hug and uh, <laughs> piling you into the mat, partner. Well, rethink that, <gasps> because we're playing Haymakers, which is not about uh, wrestling moves. Whoa, 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 what? It's more like making hay. It's a very literal definition of the word. Right. So this is a this is a demo of a little uh, scarecrow platformer video game that's available on itch.io right now for free, and you can check it out yourself. It's a very cute game that kind of elicits the same sort of feel that, like, Paper Mario kind of does, where it's, like, sort of arts and crafts aesthetic. Yeah, a little bit Paper Mario, a little bit of that Yoshi's Island, the Woolly World. Right, or the Kirby Yarn game. It's, it's, a, very, it's a very cute aesthetic, you know. It's got lots of cute characters, like this little, uh, this little scarecrow here. His emotions changed wildly, depending on if you're looking at his <laughs> picture or his actual in-game sprite. Yeah, I wonder if the in-game sprites at some point- that right now they don't have, um, like, alternative, uh, emotions. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's the thing they're just saving for, you know, right. uh, after the demo. Right, they don't have emojis yet. Right. But he does have, like, they have a lot of expressiveness in their motions. Mm -hmm. Bobby has, like, a little dejected sigh. Yeah, he likes to he likes to bob. Yeah. I mean it makes sense. Actually, I guess our character likes to bob a little bit more. Yeah. We like to wear our hair in a in a bob. Mm-hmm. We like to weave hay. <laughs> it's true. Oh wow, I'm just noticing the paisley that aligns the bottom. That's real good. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's good. But uh Old Bobby here is trying to get through the woods to to get to the blacksmith, but he uh, he's got a little trouble, you know. Mm -hmm. He's <laughs> he's not so good at this whole adventuring thing. You may ask us if we have any tools. Let's we'll just oh, show him. <laughs> That's right. Show him that tool. You almost killed him, you monster. <laughs> Anyways, they'll only, like, speak to you about stuff, uh, once they've moved into place, which, again, I assume is, like, a demo thing. Right. This is probably, like, not even something that'll be in the final game, you think? Or, uh, well, if it is, it'll probably be different, I'd assume. Yeah. But we can use our tools to, uh, shoot forward as well, as long as we have something to grab onto. Now that's what I call making hay. <laughs> Also, the way that the the text pops up sometimes feels like it's sort of like made for voice acting because it like pauses and stuff in ways that it seems a little weird just in a text only thing. So I wonder if that they'll have like voices of some kind later. I wish it had like uh, that like Phoenix Wright like oh like different beeps for different characters. Yeah, like that'd be good. Just like like sort of give you like a pace. To, like, match how the, the text is coming in and sort of, like, go along with how someone would say it. Yeah, for sure. So, what we have is a thing called the Hitch Fork. And so we can not only use it to, uh, to, to destroy obstacles in our paths. You can also use it to marry people. Right. <laughs> but as long as we're holding on to a, a stump or a similar sort of object, we can shoot ourselves in uh, multiple directions. Uh, based on the way we're facing, we can either shoot uh, up, down, or just straight forward. And it makes for a good, like, kind of kinetic movement sort of thing, you know? You can pretty seamlessly go between, like, running around and hitching onto something. And you don't have to, like, hold it for a certain amount. It's not like there's a charge up or anything. Right. It's just... It's pretty instantaneous. It, it's just fire and forget. Right, exactly. Okay. I like this little guy. He talks a lot, but you know, it's pretty charming. <laughs> He's, He's such, such a donk. donk. Also, I like the idea of him just screaming, Hey, what's your name? Wait a minute.
Yeah, let's destroy nature. <laughs> this is just a little section where we kind of get a feel for our basic uh, movement options. So, um, if you think like they're gonna add voice acting later, I think I should uh, I should audition for the role of Bobby here. <laughs> Dude, it's been real. I feel like we've like really bonded and stuff, and I've learned a lot, and you've learned a lot, and we're both better people now. And it tells my best friend Clyde, "Wow, dude, <laughs> going uh, on an adventure really changes a person, huh?" Don't quit your day job, Jay. <laughs> oh no, I turned in my two weeks' notice already. <laughs> I was gonna go to Hollywood. Also, I like the line of, we, we walked into here as scarecrows, and we're walking out as dare crows. <laughs> but anyways, he's off into that shortcut, so let's see how he's doing. I mean, he probably found his way out, no problem. Yeah, I mean, if it's a shortcut, ah, oh. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Oh, poor Bobby. He walked into a trap. So, you know, I don't want to say that this music is like, too good for this. <laughs> um, but it does feel a little bit, um, a little bit, um, more bombastic, bombastic. for, um, for what you're doing, I think. It, it'll make sense once we get into the level proper. Okay. It just plays in the zone right now. It's not like it's context okay. sensitive. But I do like that it, it picks up, like, right as you realize, ah, jeez, we're trapped. <laughs> yeah, it's just by zone, so you see, it, go it goes back to normal, and then once we get back to where he is, it'll pop back up again. Right, that's not just the trapped Bobby music. Right. <laughs> or maybe it is, I haven't seen the OST, I guess. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they, they call it Trapped Bobby. Look at this guy, real good at collecting things. After you shoot off of a, a stump with the hitch fork, you get you go super fast. Look at your feet. God, Zoom. That's a real good running animation. Yeah, it's all very good. Old Sonic Hedge, eat your heart out. Yeah, and so with the stumps and everything, when you hit something, you ricochet off of it, which adds a lot of kind of pl platforming options once we get into it. But yeah, it's just sort of like, it, it gives you another little playground to mess around with until we start getting into sort of the meat of the game. Which, as you can hear with the music, this is where it starts to pick up. Mm -hmm. This is where we meet Gino in the forest, and he's, uh... <laughs> right. He does the Gino wave. Exactly. But, uh, so, you can, like, combo hitchforks together. As long as you are, even if you're in the air, you can grab things and then shoot right back off of them. Mm. Which, yeah, like, everything about this feels like it's sort of, like, built for fast play. Because right. you can sort of just, like, combo off of everything and kind of just move real fast with all of it. Right. If if watching that AGDQ gets you in that speedrunning mood, this is the game for right. you. There's some great game feel going on here. Ooh. I love game feel almost as much as I love mouth feel. <laughs> Now, the mouthfeel video, video game, not so good. Right, well, it's a download only. Right. But yeah, you can you, you can see sort of the, the potential here for, like, some really good, like, combo movement kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. It feels really good to play, too, because the timing on grabbing stuff with the hitch fork, very lenient. <laughs> you have, like, it's basically, like, as soon as you hit the button up to, like, half a second after, it feels like... You have the ability to grab onto something. Oh, wow. So there's plenty of uh, uh, place for mistakes. And, th you know, that's really nice. Wow. Even if it gets harder later on, it's a good way of just kind of, kind of showing off uh, the, the mechanics of the game. Right. This is just a demo, after all. I think that... Was this at PAX? Right. Or... Uh, it was at um, the, the old MAGFest, for sure. Ah. MAGCON. Right. That's it. Mag Weast. <laughs> well, wait, no, it's Fest. Mm. Oh, well, I messed that one up. Anyways. Uh, the Mag Fiesta. <laughs> That's it. 
But uh, it look, I think the gears at some point are going to be a money. You can't spend any money in this video game yet, though. What's even the point of playing a video game if you can't spend money? Exactly. Where are the microtransactions? <laughs> How do I buy trading cards in this? I want to play as Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> but pink. Right. What kind of fool wants to play as the plain Jane Darth Vader? Yeah, ugh. You make me sick. <laughs> but it's stuff like this that makes me feel like it was really intended for, like, speed play. Just, like, sections like this where you could probably just drop forever and, you know, get these really fast hits off. Mm hmm Yeah, it looks like she really launches herself whenever you, um, you go for a, like... You, uh, like, you you do it in the air or whatever. Like, whenever you try to hitch something. Yeah, it's speedy. Like, zoom zoom. Also, from Bobby here, we learned about our first enemies. Rats. Oh, rats. <laughs> Thanks. But, uh, they'll steal your money. If you get hit by them. So you gotta be careful. I'll do it for you, Bobby. <laughs> I'll kill for Bobby. <laughs> I'd do anything for him. Have Hitchfork will travel. <laughs> <laughs> Such sweet and sour. <laughs> I'm gonna use that in my everyday life now. <laughs> Anyways, we'll make sure he goes through just fine, and uh, <laughs> I'll see how he's doing. Okay, now. mom. Jeez. <laughs> Look, I just want to make sure he's safe. He is not safe. <laughs> oh God, Bobby. Not again. <laughs> Ah, uh, geez, he always finds himself in trouble. I do like the idea that these scarecrows have, like, nuance of language such that they refer- they refer to the people as donks. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't worry, Bobby, I already knew. I still love you. <laughs> old Bobster. Means we gotta, we gotta take care of him again. That's no problem for me. I mean, we gotta get out of here anyways, too. I'm sure we got things to do. Right. We were taking a nap, but yeah, scarecrow things. Right. So now we've got like hanging rocks and stuff, and those will swing when you shoot off of them. Which so far I haven't been able to um, like create enough momentum to really use that. But I'm sure that'll come up in puzzles later. Right. I bet there's like candy down there. Uh, no, well, well, I mean, I gotta save some things for, you know, people oh, to play okay. on their own, so I'll just, uh, I'll leave that up to you to figure out if there's candy or not. I hope there's candy. <laughs> again, you'll have to find out for yourself, but for now, oh, wow. gotta save old Bobby again. Don't worry, Bobby, I'll always protect you. Also, I love a I love a system that allows the for the shaky text. Yeah, it, it's real good. If it were up to me, all the text would be shaking. <laughs> My eyes just naturally jitter around like that, so it makes it a lot easier to read. Hey, this is advice for everyone out there. Don't let some lamezoid tell you that you can't follow your dreams. <laughs> wow, that is one confident strut. Oh, Bobby. Oh, no, Bobby. Bobby! Oh, no. Well, anyways, I know where he's going to go. So I'll just... I'll just meet him there. I'll, I'll pretend that he got there on his own. <laughs> right? I didn't have to carry him. In the forest, when you only saw one set of front friends, it was from when I was carrying Bobby. He was taking a ride on my hitchfork, as you, as you can imagine. Oh, dear. Anyways, watch out for deer. I mean, I guess it makes sense. If they're Scarecrow, they're, like, full of straw. Do oh. love that? Oh, I didn't even think about that. The implications yeah. are terrifying. Pretty messed up if you think about it. Anyways, right. look at these little bouncy flowers. Wow. They're great. I love video games. <laughs> I just love moving and video games, and oh my goodness, it's a rat. And look, er, uh, he stole the money from the ground. What a pack rat. And we can restore our health, which is those little hearts up there. I wish I made, like, an eating noise when you did that. <laughs> nom nom nom. Like, hom, hom, hom. Nom nom nom. Okay. Uh, Chorps, I need three more takes of eating noises. Go. <laughs> Ow. 
Ooh, that one's good. Munch, munch, crunch. Okay. I like it simple. Um. Ooga. Yep, that's the, that's the one. <laughs> Draft noise. Um. <laughs> But yeah, so you can launch off of the enemies, too, and use them, just like you would any other, uh, like, stump or other, uh, item. Neat. I like whenever you stick out your hitchfork, and it looks like you're trying to pull somebody up from off stage. <laughs> like when we do all our great improv bits. Right. And the man just doesn't understand. Anyway, here's where we put all of our platforming to the test. Oh, man. This is where we really get to show off our stuff. Ah, uh, get him, Chorps, get him! <laughs> All kinds of combos. Oh, you got this. Ah, uh, get that yeah, button. Yeah, I got it. Get the button. I'm trying! I'm trying! <laughs> but yeah, you can grab onto crows, and oh. they'll uh, they'll let you shoot around, too. Crows, as I've always said, are the, the rats of the sky. It's true. Oh, that crow hurt you. But also, here's something uh, that you might find just, like, you know, going through a level... There are these little pumpkins here. They have some world building to them. Wow. This pumpkin has lore. Yeah. So keep that in mind if you want to play it for yourself. I think there's one in every, uh, on every screen. Oh, oh no! Oh god. I overcompensated. There is danger below. I, yeah, we, we gotta be careful. Oh, wait a minute. You're a scarecrow and these are crows. Your powers oh, are right. useless against them. <laughs> oh no! Anyways, here's a here's always a cool little platforming thing. You gotta uh, you gotta be faster than the floor. Charm, stop breaking the floor. You're breaking the floor. <laughs> I can't stop. I just keep breaking the floor. God, that little like hustle animation's so good. It's very good. Oh no, that rat. Ah, oh, you can't get me. And then this one's just like a little, you know, extra bonus. You can come up and get uh, some extra buttons. Right, that's where they put like a star coin in the Mario games. Right, that sort of thing. Anyways, I'm too fast for those buttons. Ugh. Forget them. They can't keep up with me? Forget it. No buttons about it. Yeah. But yeah, so, you know, there are little secrets to be found within the demo. I didn't show all of them off, you know? Right. Again, I gotta leave something for you guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, the pumpkins are lying to us all. Oh. Phew. Phew. I was about to have to question everything. Yeah, you know, it's it, it's nice that they have all these little things around that you can, you can uh, explore for, you know? Yeah. They got buttons, they got pumpkins. What else do you need? Got everything. Anyways, it's time to save our, our darling boy. <laughs> there he is! Oh, Bobby. We gotta protect you, Bobby. I'll take care of this boy forever. Oh, goodness, we did it! He may not remember our name, but he'll remember it, this brave act of heroism. Right. Ooh... So here's an interesting little thing about the game. You could just ignore Bobby. Uh, I don't think that that's true. It doesn't seem like it's set up like that. I mean, technically you can. I mean, like, you can ignore everything in a video game if you just, like, close your eyes while it's happening. <laughs> right. But, like, if you don't free him at one of those points, he won't be here and he won't give you anything. But you gotta get things, right? Like, it's a video game. Mm. I don't know about that. I prefer not to have things. I don't like to be uh, weighed down by my possessions. I get it. But yeah, you know, uh, it. So you know, it, it lets you play different ways, and uh, you know, some things may change if Ooh. you don't save old Bobby. Whoa! Like here in the pompon field. So that guy over there, the grumpy-looking guy, that grumpy Gus. Mm-hmm. His name's Gus. Uh, no. Oh. He would have uh, he would have different things to say if you didn't save old Bobby. He'd be like, "My name's Gus. <laughs> Where's my child?" And then you'd be like, "Oh no, I didn't save him. Hey, it's, it's not his child, but it's not my fault." <laughs> right? Look, I'm not the one who told him to go into the forest. 
I can't believe Clyde stole that hat from Terry Bogart. Anyways, this is how we talk to each other all the time. Right. <laughs> no, you look like an idiot. I'm handsome. <laughs> I mean, that's basically us. <laughs> basically. Hey, I'm a buckaroo. <laughs> but this last bit is just like uh, a chance to kind of get to know some of the characters of the world, kind of get a feel for the writing, and you know, it's nice. Right. They let you play the game, and now they're gonna play with your emotions. Exactly. Um, it's very cute, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, and not in, like, a, like, a saccharine way, where it's, like, you know, maybe, like, right. too, too precious. Right. It's got a good, like, maybe even, like, um, I guess Paper Mario-esque vibe to its writing, as well as its art style. So, this game is Paper Mario 3. Right, exactly. It's the Paper Mario you always wanted. A regular platforming game and not an RPG, just like Super Paper Mario. Right. My favorite one. I mean, aside from Sticker Star. Right. Your other favorite one. Right. Does this game have stickers in it? Uh, not that I know of. Oh. It could be kind of like Tearaway and you could put, like, stickers on you. Oh, maybe. that'd be good. Uh, devs, add in stickers, please. <laughs> No other accessories, just stickers. I mean, hey, what do you think you buy You buy those uh, with those buttons? Oh, I guess so. You trade buttons for stickers. Right. That's how the real world works. I like how tired uh, Clyde looks. Mm-hmm. It, it, he's very relatable. Also, I don't know if this is, like, an intentional reference, but uh, Bobby and Clyde... Mmm. It's very similar to a classic duo. That's right, Mario and Luigi. Oh, I love those guys. Another classic Paper Mario reference. Because <laughs> you see Bobby's uh, short and big, and uh, Clyde here is tall. And big. <laughs> and big. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and here we got a scarecrow wearing a bucket on their head. Do we even know it's a scarecrow at this point? We do, because everyone's a scarecrow. What? That's crazy. How do you say that? Sui? Kui? 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 That's a good question. I need a, um, I need a pronunciation guide for this game. Right. Put that in the (laughs) readme.txt. you know, it's not just about fun and games. Sometimes it's about important, practical lessons in blacksmithing. Wow. Oh, no. They've seen our LPs. <laughs> oh, no. We've been figured out in public. Now the paparazzi's on us. One day he'll get our name right, I'm sure. Hey... If Bobby says my name's Toppy, my name is Toppy. <laughs> I'd believe him. He's got that natural charisma. But yeah, as it turns out, our uh, our blacksmith friend here uh, made our hitch fork. Oh, oh b- back in Appletown. Isn't that uh, the town that Richard Scary made? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> It'd be great if there was like a driving section where you were in a big ol' apple. Nah, that would be cool. Well, uh, <laughs> add in the final game. <laughs> Devs, I hope you're taking notes. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> no, do it. J- Jay, you couldn't hear me. Don't don't oh. be like that. Oh, okay. Well, uh, so I've got this design doc all written up. <laughs> and I, I, I've also got my, my demo reel for uh, playing Bobby. So uh, I hope you guys... <laughs> We'll take some notes. Uh... Hi, I'm Bobby. <laughs> Don't stop. Parted such sweet and sour. I love so that... you. <laughs> so, so that was Haymakers, and I'm I'm like pretty excited about it. You know, it's it's hard right. to 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 like mess up a platformer, but I think the way that it does like no, it's kinetic... very easy to mess up a platformer. You're right. But these guys, they've done it right. I think that, like, 
the way that the movement feels so like kinetic and flowing Mm -hmm. is a real benefit to it that'll help it kind of stand out right so uh, yeah I'm real excited for Super Mario Haymakers um, (laughs) where you get to make your own haze (laughs) this is like box maker right the perfect video game check it out on itch.io for yourself I'll leave a link in the description. Hey, it's free. Hey, it's for horses.